Another way of creating a form is by using the form wizard. In it, the wizard will ask us a bunch of questions, and based upon our answers, we'll get a fancy form. So to get started, come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Forms group, and there's the form wizard. You can see when I hover over it, it says in the pop-up, it'll create simple, customizable forms. Oh, that's nice. Now, you don't have to have any of the tables or queries selected to begin the form wizard because it'll list all of them from the drop-down arrow. But by default, whatever you have selected over here will come right here. So if I click Cancel, instead of billing info, if I select Customers and click on the form wizard, then the default here is Customers. Makes it a little bit handy if I just want to work with the customer fields from the customer table and add them to my form. But again, you can click on the drop-down arrow and it lists all the tables and the one query that you can see I have over here and the available fields from that query that I can then go ahead and choose from available to add to my form by double clicking or selecting one, hitting the arrow, or using the double arrows to add them all over to the selected field side. And of course, you can move them back if you don't want them in your form by individually or all of them, double arrow. Now, if you have two or more tables or queries that you want to add fields from to your form, then click on the drop down arrow. And in this example, let's do the customers table first, select that, and then down below, double click to add the fields you'd like to see in your form. And it leaves them there. So when you change to go to another table like the orders table, you can go ahead and add in addition to the customer fields, the order date, the quantity, item number, and then just make sure that these tables are related because if not, then it's not going to make any sense to have a form where you've got customers and orders that don't match up or link or I can't tell which customer belongs to which order. And so it's got to be related directly or indirectly as we talked about in our relationships training video. I'm going to keep it simple and remove all the fields and just do one table. Let's do the customers table. Click on the double arrow to add them all over to the right. Click next. And here you can choose from one of four layouts. The first one is columnar, and you can see a preview of it. All the dark orange fields are the labels, and the lighter here, or almost yellow it looks like, are the data fields. So you can see if for the customers, you got the first name, last name, those would be the labels, and then over to the right, it would actually display the first name of the customer, and then their last name, and so on. So if you want to see what tabular looks like, you can see up at the top, the dark orange rectangles are all the labels for the data fields down below. So you've got first name, last name, address. Then for the first record, you'd have their first name, last name, address. If you had another record, first name, last name, and so on. Then you can select data sheet if you like. Again, all the labels up the top, data down below, and you have your row headers. Or if you're feeling justified, well, you can choose that. I'm going to go with tabular because it's so tabular, and then click next. And then finally it says, what title and name do you want to give for this form? It's not going to be customer's table. It pulls that in because that's the table that this form is based upon, but let's go ahead and change it from the TBL three-letter prefix to FRM for form customers, but that's going to be the same name as a form that I already have here. I don't want to override it. I want to add it in addition to it. So let's just give it a little bit more here. So it has a different name, Customers Wiz, because we created this form from the wizard. And then down below, do you want to open this form up in Form View to actually enter in information or make changes to the data? Or do you want to go right to the design view and make some more tweakage to the design before you actually start viewing the data? Let's just go ahead and view the data and click Finish. And there it is. You can see it added over here to the navigation pane, Customers Wiz. And there's the name of the form, the title of the form. And then down below, you've got the labels for each of the columns here. And that one's cut off. But in the next training video, I'll show you how to modify the form so you can actually see that field. But here, we just want to keep it simple to show you what happens when you use the form wizard. And then when you want to go ahead and create a new blank record, of course, you just need to find the last blank row, or if you had hundreds of records, then just come down here on the record navigation bar, click on new blank record, and it'll take you right to the last blank row. So we can start entering in our customer ID, name, and so on, and then hold down the shift key and hit enter to save that record, or just move off of that record to be able to save it. It saves it as well. And let's come up here and right click on the tab. So there's the form view. You've got the layout view when, well, the field list, if you want to add any fields that you missed adding to your form. 
Let's close out. Go over that a little bit more later on. So the layout view allows you to go ahead and, well, move your fields around. You can see I've got a four-way arrow, click and drag, or resize the fields if you hover over one of the sides of the fields and do a little bit of designing. And let's go ahead and right click, go to the design view. And we're strictly in design, so we can't see the records here. So up at the top you have, well, right here you've got the title for the form, and then down below you have the labels for each of the data fields or text boxes down below. The text boxes that contain the data, so we just have one row of it, but if we have more than one record, it'll duplicate this in the form view. So for the first record, you'll have the customer ID, the customer name, and then when it sees it's got another record, it adds another row down below in the form view to accommodate that record and so on. And let's right click, go back to the form view, and learn how to modify our forms in the next training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.